pray and turn it over to God and let God do what needs to be done and follow God's law and quit making so many laws that's not needed and follow the law that is needed and that's the law of God. God, I feel like preaching tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God saw their word. See, God knows where you're at. God sees you right where you're at tonight. I praise God. Hallelujah. He knows what you're doing. He knows what you're thinking. He knows everything about you. And he knows everything about me. I praise God. And what we have to do is keep ourselves right with God. We got to keep ourselves where God can talk to us. And we can be obedient to the word of God. God. I praise God. That's what America is needing today. I praise God. Not only in Washington, but throughout our nation. Other people are needing to turn from their evil ways and seek a living God. I seek the one that's able to save their soul and deliver them from a place called hell. I uh, praise God and what he'll do. I uh, praise God. He'll help you right now uh, in this world. Uh, he'll help you. I uh, uh, praise God. I uh, have the things that you need. Uh, uh, whatsoever thing you desire, he said, uh, when you pray, uh, uh, believe that you shall receive it uh, and ye shall have that uh, if you believe. Uh, we need some believers. And the Bible says that the people of Nineveh believed the preaching of Jonah. Uh, I praise God. Where is the believing today? Uh, uh, preachers are standing declaring uh, the unadulterated word of God uh, and people are turning it away uh, and saying, I don't believe that. That was for the old generation. Uh, well, honey, I'm here today to tell you, uh, he said Jesus Christ, uh, the same yesterday, uh, today, uh, and forever. Uh, and there is no uh, uh, changing in him. There's no turning in him. Uh, he's the same. Uh, uh, God is the same and God that destroyed Nineveh that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah he will destroy the nations of this world if they don't turn back to him when they turn their back from God they're standing in danger of the judgment the judgments of God that comes Israel time and time again they turn from God and when they turned from God, then judgment came upon them. And they got in trouble. They were carried away captive. A lot of them were killed. But when they would turn back to God and repent of their evil ways, turn from their evil ways, then God had compassion upon them and forgave them of their sins and restored them back to their country and back to the position that he wanted them to be in. I'm here today to tell you, it's time America to wake up. It's time parents to wake up. It's time to wake up no matter where we are at. Whether we're in Knox County or whether we're in Laurel County or whether we're in Kentucky or, or Tennessee or Virginia or California or wherever. Whether we're in the United States or Japan or some of the other nations. It's time to wake up and turn to the living God and get these make believe God's out of the way and begin to call upon the real God. The real God. There's a real God. There's a living God. There's a genuine God. He's not a fragment of our imagination. He's real. And there's a real Savior of the world. And His name is Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. He wants you to be saved today. It's not God's will that any would perish but I would come to him and live. Ah, oh, but notice. Praise the Lord. And the king, I praise God, arose from his throne. And he laid his robe from him. And covered him with sackcloth and set in ashes. 
And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. It's time that we lifted our voices and begin to cry mightily. Not saying, oh God, would you do it? But we need to say, God, we need you. You. Oh Lord, we come before you, repenting of our sins. I praise God. And they, they, they cried mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way. Oh honey, it's time to turn from your evil way. You may be beating your wife. You need to turn from that. You may be beating your husband. Turn from that. You may be beating your children. Turn from that. You may be doing a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing that's evil. Turn from that and turn to somebody that can straighten your life out and give you joy and peace and life everlasting. Woo! Oh, praise God. Turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands.